Here he is, as promised, our NHL analyst, Frankie Corrado. So the Stars avoid the sweep, Frankie. We don't get two sweeps. Uh, they extend the series. A lot has been made about the fact that Jason Robertson had a slow start to this postseason. He really comes alive when they absolutely needed him the most. Exactly. And it was a very resilient effort by the Dallas Stars. And the resiliency goes to Jason Robertson, what he was able to do in this game, scoring two goals. And when you look at the way he scored the goals, he can score in a number of different ways, but he scores in and around the front of the net. And that's exactly where you're, you see his skill shine through. He scores two goals on 11 shots. So, yes, he's getting volume of attempts to the net, but look at this goal, bats it out of midair, puts himself in a good spot to, to score this goal and that's the skill that he has the goal scoring ability then on this next one his sixth goal of the playoffs puts himself in an opportunity where he's going to get a rebound that kicks off the end boards but that's a player that yes he can score from distance yes he's got a great one-timer all those things but he needs to find ways to put himself in those kinds of positions to score that's exactly what he does at one point in this playoffs this is a player who went eight games without scoring a goal yeah. like you're waiting for him to break out and he found a way to do it, all because he put himself in and around the front of the net and scored some goals that maybe he wouldn't have scored uh, in, in the regular season, you know, taking those one-timers from distance or teeing off on the power play. And then Jake Ottinger, uh, so fascinating, this guy, because he can look so bad, as he did in Game 3, and get pulled after letting in three goals. But he's an incredible bounce-back goaltender for such a young goaltender. Yeah, and, and it goes exactly with the theme tonight for the Dallas Stars, for Robertson, for the team in general. It was a very resilient effort. You look at Ottinger's last start in Game 3, less than three goals on five shots, and he has a big bounce-back performance, and he had to be very good early on. Massive save on Mark Stone in the early goings in the first period, and that's the one that kind of keeps Vegas in it, but, or Dallas in it, but then Jack Eichel finds a way to break in on a breakaway. He robbed Jack Eichel on a number of occasions tonight, and these are big saves that allows Jason Robertson to score his two goals. It allows Joe Pavelski to score the overtime winner, his fourth game-winning goals of this playoffs. And that's all you can ask for from a goaltender. You, you kind of wait and see for certain things to happen throughout a playoff series, as you know, and you're waiting for the goaltender to steal one. You're yep. waiting for the Ottinger game. Well, it was the Ottinger game plus the Jason Robertson game <laughs> plus the Joe Pavelski scoring a clutch goal, which he's done throughout the course of this playoffs. That's his fourth, fourth game-winning goal and throughout the course of his career. So a very resilient effort from the Dallas Stars, top to bottom, keeps their season alive. And they get to play Saturday, but remember, they'll still be without their captain on Saturday as they head back to Vegas trying to extend this series. Frankie, thanks for this.